Put the, the camera on me. Tell me about your faith. What do you believe, my God? I'm Muslim. You're a Muslim, okay. And why are you Muslim? Why am I Muslim? Because I was born in a Muslim country in a Muslim family. Okay, so um, have you ever read the Bible? Yes. Okay, so what do you think Jesus means when he says in John chapter 3 that unless a man be born again, then he cannot see the kingdom of God? Well, the first thing is when we talking about Jesus, we have to go back and talk about the Old Testament of Bible. Yeah. Why is the Old Testament a Bible? I agree with you. We do have to go back to the Old Testament. Yeah, absolutely. So why is the Old Testament? So the Old Testament, what is it? Yeah. So the Old Testament is the Tanakh. Is it, is it another book? Like Je Bible? It's, so it, the Bible is you, is comprised of the New and the Old Testament. That's right. So, so okay. So when we call it so, Old Testament, yeah. it's not the Bible. It's, it it's is the book the of Jews. No, it's it, but it, but it, There's a Torah, Exodus and Genesis. Yes, but it's for the oracles no, of God they are, was given to those everybody. Those books are book of Jews. You are? The, the, those books, Old Testament, are book of Jews. It's still who do you think wrote the New Testament? I don't think anything about who, yeah, who, but who wrote. Yeah, but who wrote it? I, the, well, it was God, but the uh, who, was, God. It, was it, was it uh, Jews that wrote the New Testament? No, they're the word of God. The, the Old Testament and the New Testament. It's the word of God. Oh, Bible. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Right, yes. So you're a Muslim. And you agree that the Bible is the word of God? That's right. Right. Because it says so in the Quran, yeah? It says in the Quran. But do yeah. you believe okay. in the Quran? Uh, no. So why don't you believe in the Quran? Because it's too, because it's rubbish. That's what you think? No, it's what I know. That's what, how you... Okay, so, if, no, okay, you so your, I ask you a question. No, you just... You how can they both be true? You just insulted me no, about I my didn't. book. You said it's shit. I didn't say that. I don't swear. So, okay. and you shouldn't well, swear my, either. Okay, my point is... The, All right, the but old, you said you believe the Bible, so and you be, okay. So hold on, let me speak. You believe the Bible, okay? I don't want you to be on a defensive, okay? I I, I want to have a conversation, so you don't need to be on a defensive. All right. So first, you have to make All right. sense. What okay. Are you All right. About? Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Well, well, let's pray that we can do that, okay? So I don't want you to be on defensive, okay? Let's. I pray that we can have a a civil conversation without you know i'm not wanting to attack you personally okay i might not agree with islam but you as a human being i don't know you and i i i have, I have no issue with you yeah okay. all right okay so now you agree that the, you said that the bible was true and that you would believe that's the word of god but you know but the quran and the bible they don't uh they contradict one another and so in the quran it says that Jesus is the word of God. Okay, let me answer you. In the Angel, which is the New Testament, the Gospels, it says the word of God is God, Jesus. Okay, okay? let me answer you. And in the Torah, it says the word of God is God. Okay, let me answer you. Do you think I said I believe in the Bible? Yes, I do believe in the Bible. But the Bible, the first Bible, not the modified version. But how do you know what that is? Because we have manuscripts no, older than Muhammad. So because we because it contradicts and with what not you the have. Same words as in Bible you've got here. <coughs> no, we do have the same. We have the same. You have to do your history. You lot have what you lot say that you have one Quran because all the other Qurans were burned. But there are many different Qurans. No, we there, there are actually. There's only one there Quran. are. No, no, because they burned them. Okay. Why would they burn them? Because they were obviously manuscripts that there was written stuff on them that they didn't want you to see. That's why they burned them. Yes. But if you go back to the Bible, we have manuscripts that go back from the first century, go back into, you know, B, uh, BC before Christ and we have the Bible that was comprised and put together as a full book in 300 AD and so that was 300 years before Muhammad and so when Muhammad was here and Allah was supposedly speaking to him and Allah doesn't even mean God it means the God but when he was supposed to supposedly speaking to him he basically was telling Christians and Jews to stand on the Torah and the Angel what is the Torah and the Angel that we have we have the Bible today that we had but 300 AD it's the same we have lots of different translations but we still have the same Bible and so you know and so basically either Allah, Allah was lying deceiving because uh, you, you know oh the Quran is not true okay hold on right there you just keep the Quran talking is not true you keep talking to yourself you just said the Bible and in Jew the Torah and in Jew the Torah is a book of Jews and Jews believe on that book today. It confirms what we have in the uh, New Testament. The Old Testament. In the Old Testament, 
in the Old Testament, you brought up the Old Testament. In that, we have 300 prophecies that Jesus fulfilled. Have yeah. you ever read them? Yes, I did. So, what do you what do you think about what Isaiah 53? What I'm trying to say is, you have to listen first and then understand my point. Okay. The Torah is a book of Jews, <laughs> and Torah been given to Hebrew people, and Moses was the prophet. Is it true? Do you know that? So Moses is the prophet of Hebrew people and he have spoken to God. And the, that's what Jews believe and the, the, the Torah is a book of Jews. Do you believe that? Uh, yes. Yes. It's still that that book of Torah is the Jews book. But it's God's, it's the Bible that tells us. You see, the We're thing is... We're not talking about Bible yet. No. We're talking about so the Torah. When God is not separating people. The, the Torah was there to point us to Jesus. The Torah. The, the Torah was there to point us to Jesus. And, you know, because God said to Abraham, God said to Abraham, he said, you uh, have a son, Sarah will give you a son. And he said, and it will be through Sarah's seed, Isaac, that I will establish an everlasting covenant with you. And who came from Isaac's seed? Because Isaac, he, Rebecca, had two children, Esau and she had Jacob. Jacob, he had 12 sons, the 12 tribes of Israel. Uh, he, he, one of his sons was Judah. Judah went on to have, you know, his line went on to have David. And from David came Jesus. And so the Torah was there to point us to the future. So we can look at the Torah as Christians and we can see Jesus in it. Because we can see that God is promising Abraham. He says to Abraham, take your son, your only begotten son who you love and sacrifice him. We can see that God is saying, you know, what God is planned for redemption. When he, he says to Moses, go into the, Egypt, take the children of Israel and bring them into this land that I have promised them. He tells, you know, he promises to give uh, Abraham, uh, Isaac, uh, the children of Israel, the land that they're currently in, is uh, the Israel right now. And so, but when he sent them to Moses to them, they were slaves. When he sent Jesus to us, to it, they were slaves in Egypt. So they to were being to, in Egypt to for four hundred to Pharaoh, right? And but then Moses was sent to the come, two, yeah. and he told Pharaoh that I've spoken to God and you have to let our people free and go and do the sacrifice on the name of God and but he was not listening and then the, the Moses been given miracles from God he, he he lifted his staff and he made a passage in the in between the river Nile and his people flew yeah. and then the, the Pharaoh were drowned yeah you believe all yeah that? okay yeah Jews believe only on one God okay and no, 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 no. Hebrew people put Jesus on a cross. Okay, can I answer and you? And they tried to kill him because at that time, Christians started believing that Jesus is not a prophet, is a God. And therefore, Hebrew people stopped them and saying that no, That's he's not, true. not a prophet. Can I answer you? That's we already got our prophet and we know the God. And they never believed on Jesus. Therefore, same way, the Christian never believed Prophet Muhammad is a prophet and the Quran is the last testament. Rubbish, can I answer you, please? Rubbish, then can I don't want to talk to you. Well, let me you're, answer you're you. You're absolutely rubbish. All right, you're fine. You're absolutely nonsense. No, 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 it's okay. Apologies, I'm not attacking you personally. You're full of hate towards Muslims. Of yes, you are. I'm not. Can you, I answer you? Not really, you cannot, because you All have right. no knowledge. Okay, no, I do have knowledge. Today, Jews believe only on one God. Well, actually, let me answer you. God. Muslim That's not true. The, can I answer Christian you? Christian are the conflict. No. Christian are the problem. Christian are the one who's doing all the nonsense, turning the Jews and the Muslim against each other. Actually, uh, I think that's Hamas. Okay, can I answer you? You cannot. Well, the you Bible can't. says that the Hebrew word for Ikat. You don't even know who's the God. Well, actually, I do know my book, and you're, I try and answer you're, it to you're, you. Your 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 God, Jesus, died on a cross. You believe that? Yes. He, and died. he rose again three days later. Well, God means is Almighty. God yeah. can never die. Well, actually, your, his spirit your, didn't die, but your, he created for himself a flesh God body. Your God died on a cross for three yeah. days. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. He, he, because he loves you. He did that because he loves you. He died and come yeah. back. Yeah, he come okay, back. When the yeah. Jesus died, yeah. where was the real God? Yeah. Who was, so, who was running? He, he was still in heaven at the same time. It tells you that in yeah. John. It says that the Son of Man is in heaven and on earth at the no. same time. 
And so God was in heaven and at the same time in his son reconciling the world back to himself. God created for himself, of, yes. None of the Jews, God created Jews for himself a physical it, body. And none of the Muslims well, actually, would that's not true. There's lots of Jews. There's lots of Jews that do that, believe it. That is and your let own. me created let me answer you if you go head. back if you go back to the Torah where it says the Lord our God the Lord is one the word in Hebrew means ihad. it doesn't mean singular it means complex in unity and so when you when you look at Adam and Eve they became one they became ihad. the word in Hebrew is the same so Adam and Eve was one person Adam's one person Eve one person but joined together they're, they're two people but joined together they become one so God is one but he is more than one person so he's revealed himself his father son holy spirit so god is ihad that means that he is no no it's not it, I, there's proof there's evidence let me show you where the evidence is yes there is in the torah in genesis 1924 after god appeared to abraham he goes on to destroy sodom and gomorrah and it says that the lord rained down fire and sulfur from the lord god in heaven it tells you in isaiah 48 16 god speaking in that passage that the Lord God and his spirit sent him okay, so and it tells you in Zechariah chapter 10 uh, chapter 2 verses 10 through to 14 that God says to the Jewish people rejoice daughter Zion and and be glad because I'm going to come and dwell within your midst and you shall know that the so Lord of hosts has sent me you, to you Christians and Jews are the same people we worship the same God yeah but, but they you, just don't but, but they the haven't people. yeah we, we do worship what the same God we worship the same God yes of support Israel Yes, yes, yeah, I support Israel, 100%, because I support Israel, I love Israel, yeah, I support Israel, yeah, exactly, do you support him at? Who killed, who killed Jesus? No, Jesus said in John chapter 10, nobody takes my life from me, I give it freely. But why, Jesus said that. do you believe in Moses? Huh? You believe in Moses? Right. Yeah, of course. You do? I don't, I don't put my trust in Moses for salvation, but I believe Moses to have been a prophet. That's hypocrite. No, I believe Moses that to have been a prophet. Hypocrite. No, Jesus. You are with the Jews. I believe you're Moses. With, with I Jews. believe what's written about Moses. You're with, with Jews, but you Moses know with was Jews. a great, Moses you was a prophet you, of God. I know with you because you both want to oppose Muslims. Only. No, Moses because was Muslims a prophet, Islam but he wasn't God. Religion. Jesus is God. And there is no God. No, Islam Allah is not the true religion. Lied. There is no one else prophet. is God. Muhammad lied. Muhammad is he heard voices in his head. And voices you, you, in his head. Jesus got nonsense because <coughs> Jews and we call that schizophrenia now. Are still now. fighting in the battle of in Israel. <coughs> you don't know what you're talking about. It's all capitalism. But he did. He it's heard all voices about in money. his head. It's all about head wealth. It's all about power. <coughs> and you don't let Muslim people get the power or education. Uh, excuse me. And we. I think you'll find Muslims have free reign in this country. They come over here and they take over. Every year in Israel, more and more mosques are being built. In Israel, the Israeli government allows people to pray in Alaska Mosque, which is directly opposite the, is uh, the Jewish most holy site. Yeah, yeah. Because that's where they have freedom. They have freedom. No, it's not. It's not. No, that's not true. You're deceived. You're absolutely deceived. You're deceived. It means that Israel, Israel is a democracy. Israel is a democracy. Israel is a democracy. Israel is a democracy. Jews believe in one God, Brother, but uh, Christians did not believe one God and Muslims Brother, believe one God. So Christians are the conflict, Christians are the problem. Uh, no, I think you'll find that so you Muhammad is the problem. Turning the Jews and the Muslims. Muhammad deceived you, sir. Brother, um, can I just ask you a question? In Hamas's founding charter, it quotes a hadith talking about the end of times. When we're talking about Hamas, yeah. then you're talking about Iran. No, no we're not. We're talking about the Palestinian people as well. well because they support Hamas. We're talking about the government they elected in Exactly. Yeah, but there's yeah. a problem. They support Hamas. When we talk about Judaism, Christianity and Islam, then we go Shia. They're the four religions now, they're not three. Jews and don't like Shia, they're fighting with each other. Christians don't get along. Yeah. 
freedom in this country. You don't have freedom in Iran. There is a problem. We don't know why. You don't have freedom. You have freedom here. You don't have freedom in Iran. You have freedom in Israel. You don't have freedom in Iran. created the problem. You have the ability to move freely here in this country and practice whatever you want. But in Iran, and you don't have that freedom. No, when you're talking about. And you say that we're the problem. Mohammed lied, and he's the one leading you astray and deceiving you. The two different religions. She is accepting when it comes to Muslims. No, I'm not accepting. Yeah, we are with Jews. No, I said we worship the same God. We worship the God of Israel. But they just haven't come to believe in Jesus yet. A majority of them. All God. A majority of them don't haven't yet accepted Jesus as a Messiah. But that day is coming. Quote from the Quran that Jesus proclaims to be a prophet. They are 124,000 more or less prophets being sent no, could you give me the pro here and Ma Mohammed was a liar Moses was one of them. There, there that's what no, you no, did there's no, and there's nothing I can prove to change you no, when I met him he said he believed the bible the truth is out there you're gonna no, get no, no, no. Mohammed deceived you a vision you will get a vision one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna no, believe no that's not true be you have to be born again all religion is rubbish you have to God wants relationship God wants a relationship all religion is rubbish God wants relationship Relationship. You will never change. You have to be born again, and that comes through faith in Jesus Christ. You, you have to change. believe that Jesus is God. If you have God to believe wants, He died. If you believe that in your heart, if you believe Jesus paid for your sin in your heart, yeah, no, and that I you can, but if you no, well you're deceived because you follow. Name Mary. one verse in the Quran where Jesus said he wrote the Injil and he is a prophet of God. Give me a verse from the Quran because the only person who claimed that was the prophet Muhammad. Yeah, exactly, and you believe him. He's a liar. You believe on him, but he's a liar. So how do you believe one man, but you won't believe? The eyewitness, the eyewitness testimonies are the people who yeah. saw Jesus Christ rose again. Why won't you believe them? But do you believe Muhammad, who came 700 years after the fact? I believe that Jesus is resurrected and he will come because, back. Because when it comes so to. So you believe he died on the cross? I believe that. Because he why? died and he rose again. It doesn't make sense. But why would you believe, I believe a man who didn't man. live in the same country as Jesus, who uh, lived no, 700 no, no. years after, who never met him, never met any of the disciples of Christ, but you won't believe Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, who because saw Jesus? Amen. God said yeah, no. He, that was a demonic possession. So you won't believe. There's nothing I can change. You have to study, you have to explore yourself. The truth is. No. Yeah. But, you but you're not going to find the truth in the Quran. You will not find it because you don't so want to find it. If the Quran says that the Indian in the Torah is God's word, but you not, and it can't be changed, but you not say it has been changed. Okay. You say it has been changed. When, when was the, in your opinion, when was the Torah changed? I, I don't know. It's been changed in the past. There's not when? much I can. Before the time of Prophet Muhammad, was it changed? Let's suppose it was not even changed. Uh -huh. But when we talk about a Torah, yeah. And then the Bull, the it points to Jesus being to, God, to, to the Torah and, and the Jew. Bible, and then Quran. So they, there's a, like a no. series of books, the holy books, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. But you don't want to believe on the last because, chapter because because the only Abrahamic religion that changes the story of Abraham is Islam. Yeah, but yeah. Islam changes the you story of everything that comes before. But not us. We we agree. We agree with the Jews when it comes when we say I, the Jews would say that Isaac was the one being sacrificed. Yeah, but you don't want to believe a Quran because there is no, no one left in it. Why would I believe a book that is rubbish? It's because it allows you to be Allah is a great deceiver. It tells you that in the Quran. Why would I believe him? He's a great deceiver. Because Allah is a great deceiver. Yeah, because of the man's sin. No, he's a great deceiver. He's a liar. Allah admits to being a liar. Who is the father of lies? Satan. So this is the problem we're going to have. So, uh, according to some Muslims, Allah deceived the people who witnesses Jesus dying and resurrecting. So then you're saying Allah is the great deceiver. And obviously, yeah. being deceiver is a prophet, is a something that the devil does a lot. Yeah, so, are so you saying that the Allah is similar to most other religions' devils? Yeah, well, well he is, is a devil. God has planned whatever he done to all them prophets. And there was a reason that Jesus been taken away because his time was not up on the planet and Jews killed the Jews and put him on a cross because Christians believe that he's a God. And this he is God. He's not a God. He is God. Up and he died. So when he died, he's not the God. And he they never God. believed. And therefore they were fighting. He didn't die. His flesh died. His flesh died. His flesh died. He never died himself. It was his flesh. He died. Yeah. His flesh died. You call him whatever you want to call it. Flesh. His flesh. 
But he his spirit he didn't but die. But they giving him a his life bag and taking him away. Three persons, same will, same essence. Amen. It's, it's, it's for your understanding. His will didn't die, his flesh died. It's for your yeah. understanding. That's for your understanding. Oh, that's the understanding of every single child since the first century. All human being been given a brain. And brain is a very smart thing. And God has given you knowledge. Well, I would pray for and you to use yours. Because God has given you a brain, so why would you follow a prophet? You, you stick to what you've been given. You don't. No, actually, I think you're, that's that's you. You are projecting now onto us something that you yourself it's are obvious. doing. Muhammad was a liar who slept with a nine-year-old child. Have you read the Quran? And yet I've looked at the Quran. You've read in the Quran and understood it? <coughs> uh, I understood it, yes. Yeah, and I've read the Tasfis. And what did you books. find in the Quran? What did Rubbish. you find to tell you? I found a man who took everything from all the other Abrahamic religions and then changed a few things. It doesn't make any sense. And then lied to yeah. get his own way. Like, because, oh, don't attack me while I'm in bed with this little girl. Because, you, you know, Allah power. gave him permission. No, 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 Allah gave him permission to take his, adop his adopted son's wife. You know, Allah gave him permission to do some really... The role models of Jesus compared to the Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet Muhammad does not compare to Jesus at all. No way. Yeah, not exactly. at all. Not because all. he was a very good man. Prophet Muhammad was a totally different man. He'd been restricted so, okay. and he was only positive person. Okay. He was honest. He was trying to be polite. Muhammad. Okay. What do you think that six-year-old so, little girl thought sort of when he took her? And he's been restrict, restricted that you're not allowed to do this, you're not allowed to do okay. that, and all. Islam. And this is why it is that Islam religion is a very small circle with restrictions. And you've been given everything before, yes. and now yes. you don't want to yes. change because if I have been given so much, and we have redemption me, found in and Jesus. Put me in a small cell, I cannot live because I'll be so, crying, fighting, so, screaming, shouting. So you're going to say the prophet whatever. was a good man. So why, yeah. so why did the prophet say to all his 12 wives that they were not to remarry after his death? That was a pretty bad thing. Because in the fact that Aisha was only just turned an adult, he, they said to her, they, uh, Muhammad said to her them that they could not remarry. And he also abolished adoption. In the Islamic world, abolish, um, adoption is not allowed. Yeah, that has been but he took his adopted son's wife. To do it for a reason. What, no. what is the reason? For your God, what is the when, reason when to abolish? Child. What is the reason to abolish? Polish adoption. Why? What is that reason for? Whatever. Well, I don't. You I cannot blindly think. Follow, why blindly follow a religion? And why come here trying to defend a religion you clearly don't know a lot, a lot, a lot about? Yes, I do. So why did they abolish ab um, adoption? That what they did is because of the child abuse. Child abuse. Yes. So why Muhammad, did what did? Abuse? So, so Muhammad was thinking about children when no. he when he did that. Prophet Muhammad got married to Aisha when she no, was thirteen years. Six years old. Nine years old. Six years old. She, said, she years was six years old. You, you think a thirteen-year-old can still consent? You can, you can say one day. You think, a, you think a 13 year old, you think a 13 year old can still consent? She the Aisha was a victim of a child abuse in the By Muhammad. Time. By, By Muhammad. By, By Muhammad. No. And when By he Muhammad. died, she wasn't allowed to take he, a second wife, take a second husband. He's sorry. just disrespecting and you're saying the things you don't want. No, I don't, I don't blindly follow a man. You just want hey, man. to argue. Jesus said if you follow a you God, you fall into the same your way. mind. You're not talking I don't, well, fact. I don't know what you're I'm telling you something you're not listening. Well, we're trying to talk to you. We're trying when to help you. When a child gets abused, he yeah. comes to know the adultery. And yeah, then well, the child knows the adultery. No. Okay, or, so, and that, that's how he should... So, let me get me straight. So, your religion allows abortion but doesn't allow adoption? It's for a reason that if someone... No, you lot are blindly deceived. You're just going with whatever you want. You're making excuses. You know paedophilia is wrong. You know a 52-year-old man sleeping with a 9-year-old child is wrong. But because you want to believe what Muhammad was a good person, you justify it in your mind. And then you reject God's truth. You have the truth. It's in the Bible. And you reject it because you're justifying and making excuses for Muhammad. What are you saying is true <coughs> as per your own knowledge. Not I, you, so are you saying it's okay for... Knowledge. So 52-year-old man sleeping with a 9-year-old child is okay? It's okay in your eyes. Life. You have never lived that life, and you've never. I, seen that 52 year old men sleeping with nine year old children by anyone's standard your is wrong. Path, but I, can't, parallel. I can never understand why, why allow abortion but not allow adoption. We are walking parallel, why, and no, you cannot see. There why is a reason. allow abortion but not allow adoption? There are reasons which you have to go What reasons? That first, you have to understand the basics of Islam. Yes. And the basics of Islam is the positivity. You stay on a positive side. Huh? And the God has given us. Should by 
telling the Jews to believe on the one God. You have to look at the Bible as an entire book. You have to look at the Bible as an entire book. God, no. You, it's, this is irrelevant. You, the Torah, the angel, the Torah was there to point us to the future coming Messiah. The Jews are waiting for the Messiah to bring about redemption and save them. And that's what the Old Testament tells us. And when Jesus came, he fulfilled over 300 Bible prophecies that had been written about him. Okay? And so when you look at the Old Testament and the New Testament together, it points you to Jesus. It points you to Jesus being God. And it points you to the sacrifice. But you have one man that comes along 700 years, 600 years later and says, Voices in my head, I believe to be God, told me it's not true. Every day in this country, in the United Kingdom, and in the United States of America, how many people like you were born and bred in a different religion, either Jews? You were born into Christian, it, you need to be born again. Or reverting to Islam. The reason is no, because it's it it wow. The only reason why Islam is growing is because of the birth rate. And you see in countries like Iran, you see in like countries in Iran where they prosecute people who turn away from Islam. I'm against Iran. I know, but I'm telling you that. I don't go with Iran. I don't. I'm, Mu I'm Sunni Muslim. I'll go with Saudi Arabia. I don't go with Iran. I know. And there's a problem. But the problem is if I am not. What you accusing me of? I understand you're against it. You will not. No, no, Do you already know? Brother, I understand you're against it, but I'm telling you, this is the reasons why Islam is growing. You have high it's birth It's not rates. Islam. They're not Muslim. I say they're not Muslim. And if uh, I say you're all lost. What? If someone have taken the way you dress and copy the way you stand and talk. It doesn't mean that the person becomes you. You have your own personality, you have your own mind, you have your own ways. They're just copycat, they're fake. They're fake people, they're just trying to manipulate and trying to kill Jews and Christians and getting the Muslim, Sunni Muslim getting the blame. And that is the problem. So do you believe the Shiites are gonna help? I don't, I believe the person who is not a right human being and abuse Men, women, children, brothers, kill, they go into hell. Mohammed Everyone then. else he abused will the go child. to heaven. So Mohammed you then. You, but you're a good person. So if you're a Sunni Muslim, you believe that it is. You go heaven. And if you're a good person, but no one is you go good. into heaven. No one is good. Have you, you ever told a lie? Oh, no. You have, have you ever told a lie? Nice meeting you too. Have See you that? ever told a you lie? You shake your hand and you look after yourself. Have you ever told a lie? Let me explain one thing to you before you go. Okay. You don't get it. You Let called someone and he shook hand to me. Okay. And now you should really understand that too. Look All right. After okay, let me explain one thing. Okay, let me explain one thing to you before you go. All right, religion, and let me tell you, Roman Catholicism, Islam, all of it, rubbish. What God wants is relationship, okay? And it means it, wait, that comes through faith in Jesus Christ. Because every single human has sinned against him, no one can get to heaven by being good. When you believe in your heart that Jesus is God, that he died for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day, when you believe that in your heart and you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, that will be salvation for you. None of these going to church, reading the Bible, like reading the Bible, I recommend it, but that's not how we get to heaven. We get to heaven through our faith in Jesus Christ. The only thing Believe I understood in your heart. that Jesus died on a cross. So yes. He cannot be God. Not no, my God. but he three my days God later, he rose die. again. My in the God flesh. Can never die. When you die, let me that tell you. God will never die. Let There's me tell you. God, God well, let me tell die. you. Let me tell you something. You cannot when, tell me anything after that. Let me explain something. There's nothing thing. left to say. Hold on. If you then let me answer you, okay? You you, that's answer. fine. You, you don't. Know. You can. Go, let me answer you. Let me Jews answer you. Have a one God. Muslim have a one God. Let me and answer a Christian. you. Christians have three votes. Two believe on the one God. Christian believe on the two. I just two, explained three, the Hebrew God. for that. You let me answer you. God no. created for himself a flesh no body. Sir, let me answer you. Okay, God no. created for himself a flesh body, yeah? And he put his spirit inside that flesh body. So when Jesus hung on that cross, that was God in the Son reconciling the world back to himself. But the flesh died, but the spirit inside that body didn't die. That's, That's why Jesus That's said to the... No, Jesus... Human beings read, will die when they die, read, they just die. No, that's rubbish. They cannot just die with the read body the dead, but inside is alive. It's just not going to work it out. 
read the crucifixion story. Jesus, Jesus died. read the crucifixion. And that's the end of this. He story. rose again three days later. Well, yes, the God have given him life. No, and the God have taken so him back. Do you believe that Jesus died if on the God cross? God was leaving him alive after three days of death. Everyone would believe. I would believe that Jesus is a God. But that's the he reason. He did come God back to life. Back. No, three days later he rose from the yeah, dead. That's the reason. Proving that he was him dead. back. Jesus, we'll come back. sir, please listen. You keep speaking yeah, over. Yeah, have a nice evening. All right, sir, I'm telling you, you have to be born again. Jesus, God in human flesh, died on the cross for your sin. Your sin was vowed to that cross. You have to believe in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin okay. if you want salvation. Watch that video again when you're You home. do. And yes, you do. About it next you do. It's a heart a now. Reason. It's not religion. It's a heart. If you believe in your heart that Jesus is God, that he died for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day. If you believe that in your heart, you confess with your mouth, Jesus will save you. I believe that you're Jesus a good person. Jesus will save you. I'm not a good person. That's why I need a savior. With your own I need a savior because I'm a sinner like everyone else. Then you cannot be a religious person. Je I am. Yeah, I'm born again of God's repent. spirit. My ask, sin is forgiven. Yeah, go repent and ask God's forgiveness. My sin is forgiven. Start with it. Purify yourself. I support yourself Israel. Come back. No, I, I support Israel. Israel. I will close the youth. I support border. Israel. I can prevent it. I support war. Israel. You support Israel, but yeah. you Christian, it's not gonna work yeah. out. No, I support the Israel. Jews killing the Christian in Israel. You do not know. No, that? no, no, they're not. No, they're not. That's there, there is a <laughs> There's a war. What? So you have to be born again of God's spirit. It comes through faith in Jesus Christ. Yeah, we don't want more blood. 